Hi everybody, it's Caroline. I have decided that I'm going to make my topper for the new journal. And kind of coming up with an idea, sort of loosely. <laughs> I was thinking I was gonna do a fabric topper, but uh, all my fabric that I have right now available is not anything very heavy which I was thinking I would like something for the for the bottom of it and corrugated cardboard well I think I've burnt it all in our in our wood burner so I'm going to use I found this in my drawer and that's a greeting card that went through a coffee bath and then somehow I guess it all kind of unraveled and probably got stuck on something and I pulled it off and I I looked at it and I said yeah I think that's going to be a good background so I like the size <clears throat> and I will probably go somewhere on this closer to the spine here then I found some other fabric that has some stain on it I have no idea what that is doesn't really matter it was stained somehow and then it's got some nice fraying on it too I believe this is old cotton maybe bed sheet or a, a um, what do you call it a <laughs> tablecloth so I'm going to use that I think and then this was going to be a postcard I was just starting to get it ready and then I saw it there in the corner of my eye and I thought well, if I if I use this, again, I'm, I'm doing layers, so I could use this. It's got some of the colors-ish. And, of course, I'm going to, you know, layer things up here. And uh, I'll sort of find a way, which way it goes best. And layer it up and find some kind of an image on here. I really thought I could find myself a pair of old jeans because <laughs> I know I had some I must have I must have given them away and I think I wanted to cut them up. Hold on. I did find a pair. I thought I did. I thought I had a pair but I had to cut them they're starting to fray on the ends, but not enough for me. <laughs> we'll see how this works out. Doesn't have to be completely, completely frayed. This is gonna to be too big. So, I will, I'm just wondering if I should go into the hem here. Maybe, okay, let me cut. I'm going to have to make this composition here. Um, and, yeah, I like the colors there, so I don't think I'm going to cut this off. I just have to cut it down a bit. old Levi's. <laughs> Got a pair of Levi's. They've really been around. Okay, that'll be a good little snippet for later. And I'm really taking my time only because I have time. Uh, this is not a rush and you know, with coming back and forth into the, the craft area. It's okay for me to just kind of give myself some, some time. I'm thinking about it.
lots of threads, lots of edges. And if you don't have fraying, then you just create your own. I think my, there is a spot, a stain on these jeans anyway, that uh, I'll be able to use later. All right, let's see here. Something like that. Looks very bold right now. I'm about to layer this up a bit and I'm wondering if this should still be on the, on the bottom. Just have a little bit peeking out. That's very... Just how many layers are too many? That is the question. That's kind of... Because I do have to put something on the... On the top. And I don't know what art... A picture... That's too big, maybe. Yeah, that's too big. Yeah. Fabric scissors, that's all right. This is a fabric of sorts. Well, I went into my mom's <laughs> which is now mine, my people stash, and I found this couple. So I cut the background out, and it was pretty um, overexposed anyway, like this whole photo is, I think, if that's the right, the, the correct expression. And I think they're going to find a home over here somewhere. I'm just sort of making sure that... You know, things look okay, so. Okay. Well, I sewed around willy-nilly. And everything is secure. I just have to glue it down here on the book cover. And the, the couple, I do want to keep the couple. <laughs> Like, why am I putting people I don't know? But that's what we do, and it's fun, and it's vintage, and it's just, I don't know, makes it yummier. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that on there somehow, probably a little bit. Well, I'm not even sure yet how that's going to go. And I did take off a little bit of this edge here just to show a little more denim. And, you know, I'll be playing with these threads here or I'll be losing them, but that's, that's fun. Yeah, that'll be good. Strings, or not strings, threads. Lots of threads, fun stuff. And just have to figure out what else this needs. It needs, well, looking for a button, I decided I'm going to, I took a piece of Um, some strips that I had taken off my papers on the inside of here, actually, and <clears throat> ripped it up. And I'm sort of trying to frame the couple. So, and I, I think I like that. And then I've also got this, uh, these two letters. I know they're from another word, but that's all I have left. And I thought, well, I think I could put that there. A little bit of black helps to anchor, and also it's a little bit mysterious. What does it mean? Is it part of somebody's name? Is it 
like who knows what it could be. So I thought I would put that there. And then I also have, I have a bunch of yo-yos that I made and they're in my little basket of bits and pieces of fabric. And I found this one and this fabric is on, uh, it's on a couple of things that I have either in, in some of my journals and some of my, um, my ephemera. Then I found this button in my little, I have a quick little button uh, baggie here. And I'm going to, I believe I'm going to use that. I'll sew that on. And so it actually, it brings out the teals, the green. There's this piece of uh, curled back paper from this uh, card that's underneath here which is perfect lovely lovely little mistake <laughs> or a happy surprise or whatever you want to call it and I just I like the page um, edge here because it brings out this this color here of the eco dyed paper and I think I'm going to do that I think I'm going to stick it down like this so I am going to so what do I have to glue down here? Everything's sewn on here except for this. So that's like that. I'll put this. Not sure if this glue will. Did I do it like that? build it back up we have some snow flurries again my great intention for today <laughs> was to go and shovel because there's a little bit on the ground but not enough for the snow blower and then every time I decided to uh, to go and shovel started to snow again so you know my whole theory is I suppose you could look at it two different ways keep the load light and keep shoveling but I'd be out there all day if that's the case and that's not what I want to do I'll just go out when it's done I kind of perfected my <laughs> my way of shoveling I've been doing this all my life. Shovel away. Does that go up or, yeah, like that. I want to keep the one, or the, uh, oops, that's, that's not my, I probably picked the wrong color of of pin because it's white and it always looks like a blob of glue. <laughs> so I've been caught a couple times thinking I'm squeezing and nothing's coming out, but it's because the pin's there, the pin head. I'm going for it. I am going for it. Thank you to my business for providing me with, it's like the, it's the business that keeps on giving. Oh, I have a, I have a bump. Oh, that's okay. It'll, it'll work itself out. Yeah, I never thought, because I certainly wasn't doing this. Journaling, yes, but not not art journaling when I had my business. I actually think that near the end of my, shall we say, career, when I knew I was going to be retiring, um, 
I was starting to think about like it was it was a bug in my ear and I probably probably because of YouTube because I've always been looking at artsy sites and sewing and all that kind of oh look there's writing on the back of this card or picture stay at somebody Marie overnight Casimir Raymond oh wow okay anyway don't know them oh dear here I go Don't know them. And I need a I need a little wipe off for the glue that just landed here. It'll dry clear anyway. Here we go. I have to glue this whole thing on too. And then I also have to think about, I was thinking up here where, where you can see the glue through here. I, I don't know what I'm going to do there. And this is going to go here. I have to sew this on. So I'll do that first. Actually, I'll do that because I'll probably sew it right to the, I need to put this on. Mm -hmm -hmm. I've got static clean too. My hair keeps going into my eyes because it's, you know, it's the season. Okay, let's put this on here. Wow. Probably should have covered that up a little. Oh, that's fine. I might edge it a bit with some marker, some Sharpie after. We'll see. All right, I'm going to sew this on. Well, that's the back side of the card. I'm going for it. <laughs> I'm going to use the rest of this glue, I think. We'll see if, it's, if it gives us, gives me what I need. I'll put this on and then reassess if I have to. I'm going to put this over here like, like that. Oh, can you hear it? And there's nothing in it yet. <laughs> uh oh. Well, this stuff dries clear too. I mean, most of our glues do. Love the squish. I'm going to put something heavy on there. Oh, maybe I just need to squeeze out. Here's my opportunity. Wow. This is going to require gloves because this stuff is gross on your hands. So, for right now, let me see. Well... This is what I have to help <laughs> secure this. And this guy cleared up a little bit. I'm going to shovel and we'll see what happens when I get back. Well, I did my shoveling. Wasn't looking too promising, but <laughs> the snow let up. So I was out there doing my, my snow duty. Actually feels very good. I'm just putting some hand cream on before I get started. And we have some shadows now because it's that time of the day. And what we have going on here is my cover. My topper is dry on the page. 
what I'd like to do here is put a D on the end and just keep it as and. I mean, I could leave it as and, but I think I'll uh, I'll expand on that word. <laughs> Give it a D. So I would like to try with you with with you here. I actually have a little bit of leftover. Uh, what is this? This plasticky? I guess it's vellum. Yeah, this is vellum. So what I'll do is I'll make a D over here. I don't know if I can make the same kind of letter. You will be with me as I, let's see, what would that look like? It's not going to be very big. I wonder if I should glue it on first. Yeah, maybe I should. And, okay, let me do that. I'll glue it on. Never throw any little bits and pieces away because you just never know. I'll add that on here. And here it is. So what's everybody's plans for the week? We have different little appointments and errands to run and our weekly list of things to do. We will be visiting next week. There's always a visit somewhere, whether it's a weekend or during the week. I'm looking forward to that. Show you that. Mm hmm. This is why I need a. I need a good craft light so I can put it in the corner. Mm. And I can see better. <laughs> I think I'll put a little bit more just here. Gonna dry clear. Oops. Like that. Okay. And I've got a fuzzy on my on the end of my nozzle here. A fuzzy nozzle. <laughs> oh. My nose is all plugged up too. Like when I come in, my nose is like a drain or a faucet, and now it's all plugged up because I've <clears throat> had time to acclimate to the inside again. There we are. Oh, gee, I don't want to wreck it now. I gotta dive in though. I just have to do it. Got my big sharpie. I should practice. I should always practice. I have. I know I have scraps here. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I must be tired, or getting tired, or something. Uh, okay, I need a piece of paper. Just give me a piece of paper. It's like why don't I want to wreck a piece of paper? I could just do it all over again. Here, let's do this one. What's it going to look like? I'm not, I can't really. I'll go like this. And down. That's kind of, it's not very, uh, well, that'll be fine. I just have to make it taller. <laughs> Okay, wish me luck. Here we go. We'll do this together. 
How did I do that? Oh my gosh. Just go for it, eh? Oh, yeah, you can see what it says. And right on. And what? They lived happily ever after. And they went to the park. They went to the zoo. And <laughs> it goes on and on. Okay. So now we're moving on. I'm pretty happy with this. I can always add. Don't think I will because it looks pretty busy, but I do like it. It's a shiny picture. I don't mind. It's it is it is vintage. Uh, I wish I had a date on it, but there was no date on it. But it's well, you can tell by what they're wearing. I believe it's from the forties. Now what I need to do? Crazy, <laughs> but I love it. Oh, does that ever feel good, boy? I wish you could just put your hand on here and feel that but I can hear the crunch anyway I have to put something here why am I talking quietly it's a moment of ASMR I have to get creative now and think about what to do on the insides of these I don't know why I need to think why I need to do it now I just, I feel like that's the next step. 